Memory. What's up, my good peoples? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't done a video in so long, man. But here we are. Make sure you like, subscribe, share if you're messing with it. But uh, I just want to hop on this little video, man. I just want to make a quick video. It's been on my mind to do. I was trying to create a little scenery to it. But um, yeah, that was taking too long. But basically, so I always thought about like it would be dope for me to do some work with like a sport brand like Nike, Adidas, shit, Russell. It don't matter. Like, I just always wanted to do some type of athletic like s stuff with them. You know what I'm saying? So um, one time back home was it like this was two years ago? I was back home. Yeah, two, no. Uh, 2022 now um oh happy new year man new year new you yes new year new you get you on your shit make it happen all right make it happen but anyways let's get back to the story so it was um yeah like three years ago i'm gonna say three years ago three years ago my homeboy of uh, gene hit me up and he was like bro he sent me a, uh he said yo um I got this opportunity for you if you're down with it. I'm like, yeah, what's up? What it is? And I think he he was into acting and modeling, and I think he had got opportunity to do like a shoot uh, with Adidas, right? So Adidas basically sent out. It was like a very confidential type of email where basically like they sent out to you know I guess sent out to the agents and the agent passed it down to the models or whatever the case may be. But basically they were looking for um, models athletic models you know before shoots for them so he may have said yo bro i figure and one of them was about like a track shoot and then he's like yo i feel like this one would be a good fit for you bro why don't you go ahead and handle that Psst, that's my god bro like what that's love mind you i've never did no type of professional shoot nothing like that i was i was doing a little something um i, I what i was doing was i was reaching out to brands i'll go to brands like a couple years ago as you wake up hit up like 10 brands for the day and just try to get them to do some type of collab with them you know just just give them like free service you know give them some type of value and you know i guess something back from them or whatever that may be product or you know get a percentage of each purchase whatever the case may be but um yeah that's how i was trying to get my feet wet you know and the whole creative business and just doing things like that so i never really done nothing like that and i was working at smash burger at that time and i remember that was before i came up to boston so you know i had i had this smash burger gig on the side you know making that money you know what i'm saying so niggas was doing that on the side and i'm like yo um because i was about to i wanted to come up to boston to meet up with somebody and this dude is like that was like one of the best ones i did in my life this dude the just off me and him bro just the first time the energy was on point so it was man it was one of my best decisions i've made but anyways trying to save up cash you know so i get to boston and then i'm working at smashburg and this opportunity comes so i'm like yo what man you done right i'm with it so you know i do what i do i email them I, I email them boom hey my name's brian jasmine so and so from gene shit oh yeah cool bet uh do you have any photos of athletic photos so you can send to us shit you ain't saying nothing girl what let's do it so i'm sending her pictures bam 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 man giving her right hook bit left man, just hitting her with pictures dumb pictures five pictures two things nice and then uh she like oh yeah cool cool and those pictures are like from pictures from track you know what i'm saying because you know in college who has a photographer that comes to track me to take pictures so I, I found them boys, you know, I got the pictures, I sent it to them. And then they were like, yo, the pictures look great. We love them, this and that. And then there was, some, that was so that was like step one. And then step two was like, uh, basically like a, a resume type stuff, you know, a little background about me. So boom, I gave them that, boom, fine, looks great. Then phase three, the last step, bro, the last step. I had to basically like give them the short video I don't know if you ever heard of an elevator pitch. Basically, elevator per, uh, elevator pitch. Sometimes I be talking too fast. It's like um, basically, let's say you walk into the elevator and somebody asks you, yo, what, what's your business about, right? Let's say somebody that you want to sponsor a business, whatever the case may be. They ask you what's your business about and you basically, 
within that elevator, that small space, you have 30 seconds. Basically, by the time, you know, however long the elevator is going to take to get down to the floor, you have 30 seconds to get them a pitch, all right? Just let them know what you do in 30 seconds. Basically, like, the whole point of that is if you can't paraphrase, you know, what you do within 30 seconds, then you probably don't know what you're aiming at right now. So, yeah, so... They ask you like, you know, just give them a short little background on me, you know, this and that. Tell them about my hobbies, things I like. But they say make it very brief. So, bro, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, what, bro? And I think each shoot, then I can't, I, I don't want to say how much money it was for each shoot, but just know, bro, after that shit was, it was, it was nice. It was nice. And it was like a three-day event, too, in New York. It was like for a whole week, not for three days in a week. Because at the first three days they had like a different shoot, and the next two days they had the athletic shoot. So it was like a three day thing. Mind you, bro, I don't know nobody in New York. So my mind, look, I got some bread. I'm about to get me a little Airbnb, do these shoots, get this bread, and shoot back to Florida. So I'm like, yo, this is lit. And I'm like, yo, I'm about to make this happen, bro. Like, yo, I, I really feel like, yo, I'm about to attain this dream of mine, bro. And next thing you know, I know I put the video camera on. Mind you, bro, I'm nervous as shit. I'm like, fuck it. Come on, B, you got this, nigga. It's you. You already, they already, you already almost there, bro. You just gotta give them a short video. Man, bro, I was so damn excited, bro. I swear that video probably was like a minute and thirty, bro. Like maybe two minutes. That shit was too long. At a point, my mouth was just moving. I was just so excited. I'm, I, I don't know, bro. So yeah, basically. The video was like a minute 30, like minute 45, or two minutes long, and I sent it to him, and they ain't never said nothing back, bro. They never hit me back up, none of that, though. I'm like, damn, bro. I really dropped the fucking bag. I dropped the bag. Uh, but yeah, that was the story of how I dropped the bag with Adidas, and yeah, bro, ever since then, I'm like, yo, why, poke, dog, poke, side, like, why? So, yeah, man, but nah, no regrets, though, because, um, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity, what could have been, you know, shit, I'm grateful I even got that far with them, it was very dope, it was very dope, so I definitely know I got what it takes, you know, to be doing some, do some dope collab with, um, brands and stuff man but yeah that was my story man but i'm about to go inside and get me some charlie's oh if you guys can see i'm about to get me some charlie's sandwich yeah it was a snowing out weather kind of yeah got that leftover snow and there it is now all right y'all about to be out give me some breakfast i'll catch y'all later